every great city has its unique DNA. For Suzhou, where I live, a local viewer says that its DNA is embodied in the dual transport grid of roadways and waterways that emblematize the typical Jiangnan water town. For Xi'an, I dare say its DNA is manifested in the imposing city wall that has witnessed the gold and glory of dynasties. Well, I'm not that qualified to say because I'm a tourist. It's just something I've read. But if you second that opinion, hit that like. Uh, I've seen the Terracotta Army, the Giant Wild Goose Pagoda, etc. when I came 20 years ago and before that. But what truly sticks in my mind is the Xi'an City Wall. I've been to Avignon and this wall is beautiful. As are the ones encircling Luca and Carcassonne. But they're small. The Xi'an City Wall is bigger than them combined. Not to mention the Tang Dynasty City Wall that was way longer than the Ming fortification standing today. When feasible, come see the real beautiful China. Come stand in awe of this massive and magnificent city wall. This place is massive. I spent the better part of the afternoon strolling here and I've nearly covered a quarter of its length. But no more walking today because it's meal time. However many calories I've burned, I'm gonna get them all back because not only Xi'an, the capital of 13 dynasties, it's also the capital of carbohydrates and supper is once again gonna be pao mo, flatbread soaked in soup, but not the world-renowned yang rao pao mo we had for lunch. As with lunch before, the meal starts with breaking up the mo flatbread. But with this style of pao mo, um, most people say that it isn't necessary to break up the uh, flatbread as finely. So chunks of this size should be acceptable. That's because this kind of more feels more leavened and puffy. So I think they um, take up soup more easily. And this quality results in a different cooking method. With the classic Yang Rou Pao Mo, the flatbread morsels are boiled in the broth. But with this type of Pao Mo, the flatbread chunks are placed in a bowl and then hot soup is ladled in the bowl and quickly drained, rinse and repeat in a sort of rinsing action. It seems like the purpose is more like to warm up the contents rather than to cook the contents. So what are the contents? Other than the mo is the meat. Something called hulu tao, literally calabash head. No, not calabash the gourd. Hulu tao is nicknamed for tip of pork large intestine, which I guess looks like calabash or hulu to some people. Well, obviously, these have been cut into rings so they don't look like calabash. Hmm. Not even slightly chewy, just terrifically tender. Oh, this by the way is not hulu tao. Uh, this is du tao tip of pork stomach, du tao plus hulu tao equals chuang tao, literally double head. It isn't offered at every uh, hulu tao eatery, at least as far as I can tell from online photos of menus of places like Zhu Xiu Ying or Chun Fa Yan, which is why I chose this shop, uh, Chang Xiang Yuan, and also because it's conveniently located at the foot of the wall. Most brutal eateries would serve this, bang bang rong. 
literally bang bang meat so named because vendors who used to roam the street would attract attention to the bang bang roll by banging on some wooden percussion instrument quite possibly the bang zi the main accompanying instrument for the local opera genre qin qiang which in turn is a part of the bang zi qiang style of opera Bang bang is a general name for an assortment of braised and smoked meats, including the large intestine, which isn't the healthiest food, but mm, so delicious. I think it's okay for me to eat irresponsibly every once in a while. Really adds a delectable, smoky dimension to the meal. Now I'm gonna really enjoy this once in a while opportunity. 再见。